Greetings, I'm the Old Growler, and this is Beer Tasting with the Old Growler. Now, let's get started with the tasting. Let's get to the tasting. And as I mentioned earlier, it pretty much falls along the lines of, we take a look, and today, the tasting is, uh, yesterday we had a founder, another founder's beer, we got the founder's own. Uh, well, yeah, they sent me uh, three beers. And uh, yesterday it was the Mas Agave with grapefruit. And today we have the Mas Agave. Okay, now, <clears throat> as I said yesterday, I've lived in Brooklyn for 33, four years, something like that. And uh, you, you get to speak language. You, well, you, if, you don't, if you don't at least understand basic hello, goodbye in three languages, you, 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 have, you weren't paying attention. And uh, so mas agave is more agave. Uh, and let's see what it says. Here. Okay, the Necker says, and that's what it's called up here. This is called a Necker. And uh, it says Founders Brewing. So we now know who it comes from. And we take a look at the label and we find out that it comes from Grand Rapids, Michigan. And so we know that. It's a Michigan beer. Uh, and it comes in a brown bottle. And it, the label itself is... is very Mexican looking to me, uh, or very at least Southwestern. And it's got all the, the it, and it says on here, barrel aged series, okay? So that that means that it's gonna be, uh, it, 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 any any beer that's been aged in a barrel is gonna pick up some color of some kind, uh, usually darker, uh, sometimes more of an amber, but uh, it, it'll pick up a darker color. It says an Imperial Lime Goods style ale. Uh, doesn't have a hyphen. In it, but anyways, Imperial Lime Imperial. Woo! Whenever I see Imperial, it means it's high in alcohol. Uh, a Lime Goods. Well, I, I know what a Goods is. That's a kind of a cloudy beer that uh, has. Uh, it's traditional to Belgium and it's uh, wild yeast. So there's going to be a funky flavor. Uh, lime, there you go. Style ale, a good style ale. Okay, so that means it might not be totally too good, but it's in the style. Brewed with agave aged in tequila barrels. All oh, right, well, I'm expecting a little bit of saltiness then, a little bit of salinity. Let's see what it says on the back. Okay, we love cocktails, like really love them. If you ask us, uh, come on now, if you ask us, few are more refreshing than the tart and tangy margarita in our latest barrel aged beer pays tribute to that perennial classic. We took an imperial goods brewed with agave lime and sea salt and then aged it in tequila barrels. Consider it part, uh, a party in a bottle. Mas agave, more agave. All right. So they're playing the tequila line here, pretty good. I was gonna say tequila lime, <laughs> but no, uh, I, 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 I strike that from the record. I never said it. Um, so anyways, what we've got is a, a relatively, I would say an amber beer, probably a little cloudy, uh, slightly salty. And I didn't notice, oh yeah, here it is, 10% alcohol by volume. Uh, and it says release 2020. So it doesn't have any IBUs on here. So I'm willing to bet it does. It's not terribly hopped. Uh, so this is going to be a, a funky beer. Well, what are we looking forward to? We're looking to forward to a funky beer that's a little cloudy, uh, brown in color. Probably has a, uh, a, I would say a brown, slightly tan head to it. The uh, bubbles should be uh, fairly well knit. They'll probably be a little bit big. So that is what we were looking for. And as I said uh, yesterday, the agave, I wasn't quite too sure what it, I knew that it was, it was salty and I know what mezcal tastes like. So, and uh, tequila, but let's crack this open and see if it meets expectations. All right. I got a salsa wine glass here. And as I said, I always use a wine glass, this type of wine glass for all of the beers, because that way they were playing on, on a level playing field and we don't have any special glassware for special beers. All right. Well, it's dark, all right, but it's definitely not cloudy. No, sir. Okay. And it does have a nicely knit head. 
uh, the meaning all of the bubbles are very small and very close together and dense. Uh, and it is slightly brown. That's a nice slightly brown head. Okay, I figured that one out. Okay, now, so it's, it's a little bit, uh, uh, let's see, I'd call it, I'd call it copper colored and it is nicely effervescent. There's a, a nice stream of bubbles going up from the bottom there. You can see that on the video better than I can see it here. All right, so it's, it's meeting expectations as far as color and uh, the look of the head. And boy, am I happy it's not a cloudy beer. Okay, let's take a, a nose dive. Wow, we got lime up the kazooty on this one. We boy. Yep, that's lime, boy. Okay, so they've got us on the lime. <laughs> and while we're on the lime, let's talk. No, here we are. Uh, the first sip, that's uh, sweet. Oh, that delivers. Wow. Me oh my. We have a winner, folks. Yes, the salinity, the lime. Oh, wow. They should leave the grapefruit one away. See. Um, this is a, this meet the beyond expectations. That's for sure. So there we go, folks. The Founders Mas Agave for 2020. Does it meet expectations? It certainly does. In fact, it exceeds, it exceeds expectations. Ah, so the old growler is hoping that all of your beers meet expectations, not exceed them. <laughs>